This video is brought to you by LearnCodeOnline.in. Visit our website or download our apps. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and in this video, we're gonna do two things. First, we're gonna read an interesting email that was a feedback email from a student and actually it's a student's voice that I am trying to make sure it reaches out to you through my platform. And the second thing that we're gonna talk about is I want to discuss something really important regarding my travel and it's not an update of course it's something uh, related to the engineering students and what they are facing right now and what they're thinking actually about to work into a variety of big companies like Google Microsoft and all of that so it's an interesting talk here but first let's read that email but before that let's roll the intro I'm not gonna lose my email is regarding a situation which students wants to make sure that everybody is aware of and he obviously knows that how wrong this is and this is regarding my video that I rolled out a few days ago about certification and dumb and incident which happened at my friend's company so if you haven't watched that video you can go ahead and watch that and again we are gonna back into the context here so let's read this email respected sir I follow regularly your YouTube channel and watch all videos just today, I have watched your video regarding certification and dump. This incident happened to me in last month. I was searching for internship in a Facebook group named Internships. That's a nice name for a group. There, I found an internship opportunity and applied for a web development through a Google form with certification. Then I got mail stating that they are providing only certificates and not the internship by laying out some amount. We need to pay to get an internship certificate without even working in that domain. That is absolutely bizarre. Then the person called me on the phone and told me that this is a good opportunity. He is not got any opportunity to work. I feel sorry for myself. Okay, I missed a line here. Uh, this is a good opportunity. He convinced me by saying uh, that I get a chance to work in an internship after paying. Then I agreed and paid the amount of certificate. I received the certificate. That is at least good. You got something, but still did not got any opportunity to work. I feel sorry for myself. At least you felt that. That is amazing. I can show you the mail which I received. Please make a video on this topic too. Don't take my name. Uh, I am afraid I'm only a student. You can see the email that they sent. I'm attaching a screenshot. Uh, thank you for letting people know about this issue and you can just uh, watch this uh, screenshot as well here I have hidden the company name I could have shown that but I don't think so it's a good thing because it doesn't really matter what's the name of this company the point is that you are doing again a kind of an injustice to yourself uh, I know these internship certificate are mandatory to complete your degrees but it's actually better to get fail in your exams right now right here in the college as compared to failing into the industry when you will be reaching out now again i know this student has paid a really good amount uh, just to get that internship certificate but here is the point that at least he is sorry now that he has done something wrong and i think uh, you all are aware of the situation and please do yourself a favor not to me to yourself don't buy these certificates or don't buy these internship certificate at least do yourself a favor if you're not getting an internship certificate just do an online course or maybe buy a book and read that at least you will get something better than this and again it is important to learn certificates are important but not that much the topmost thing that is important is learning so make sure you don't do this buying certificate and stuff okay so this is the part one of the video let's move on to the part two video you can consider this as two videos but this is part two Part two of this video is little bit scary. So in case some of you know and follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all of that, I've been visiting a lot of colleges recently. In the last three or four days, I have visited like three colleges and one Skype talk. Uh, it was a tech talk for a college. I couldn't just fly there. So they arranged a Skype talk. And what I found out is some people, some of the universities and college students are absolutely amazing. They are aware about the latest all tech, about the Swift, Angular, Node, uh, whatever latest is happening in the industry, at least they are aware. They are not mastered in that, but of course they are running really absolutely good. But the problematic situation is with the, some of the universities where third year and final year students 
absolutely have no idea and yes I'm talking about the computer science student have absolutely no idea what is Node.js or what is Angular or what is React but this is not the whole story on top of that their goal is to somehow get into Google and uh, Amazon and Facebook and all these big giants they have absolutely no idea what is binary search trees which is a very common interview question they cannot even perform a classic FizzBiz uh, operation which is again a very classic interview question so it makes me kind of an amusing feeling here that they have absolutely no idea about trees they cannot write a properly an if and else program and their goal in the third year and final year is to get a job in Google and Amazon they are absolutely blaming their college that they are not calling Amazon and Google in their campus and on top of that they have no idea what is Node.js now I might be wrong here that I'm thinking in that way but I think and all of these I asked this is a very specific question they were all of them were aware about what is the next uh, season which is coming out for the Game of Thrones have they watched GOT and all of them were updated absolutely episode by episode on Game of Thrones so this makes me realize that uh, is it a wrong thing about the college or student I think uh, this thing needs to be a reanalyzing thing that you should do that whether it's a fault of college or whether it's a fault of students that you are not even aware of the things which are going in the market and you are aware about the seasons that are coming all the way long so I believe it's a time uh, to get a little bit serious on getting friendly with the industry and at least uh, I'm not saying just buy my courses or learn all the time from my courses no it's it's not at all compulsion uh, you can just buy good books you can buy online courses from other great instructors as well but all I'm trying to say here is at least know what you are doing or what you're trying to do in your future like companies are all industry is moving here and you are just here uh, come on get on here and you need to be here as well get friendly with the latest tech what is happening in the industry read a lot read a lot of books and at least practice a few stuff don't make yourself a miserable in the third year final year you have absolutely no idea what is a binary search tree or you cannot how can I imagine a person in the computer science having no idea what is node.js all the tech that they knew was the I'm not talking about the projects that they have done the tech only the name that they knew was dotnet and java I'm not saying these are bad tech uh, these are absolutely amazing but from a computer science student it is, it is expected that he's aware of what is happening in the market and current standard on top of that I asked a couple of students who were saying that uh, we want to join up in the Google and I asked them at what domain you want to join like in the what domain and he said sir I, I'm not getting your question I said it's not like you just go to Google and you just start working there are a variety of domains there is information security there is front-end there is UI UX uh, there is designer there is a back-end part there is a uh, like uh, media interaction <laughs> there is a marketing there is a management there is a person who buys the coffee so <laughs> yes there are a lot of jobs and senior software developers junior software developers there is a whole list available at Google uh, careers form if you'll check that out and there are responsibilities as well as requirement being mentioned there so if you want a job there are you preparing for that what kind of check mark you have done for the requirements which are there and to my no surprise at, at least here they were not at all even aware what I'm talking here so I think if you are looking forward to join these big giant tech uh, companies uh, prepare for them at least so I am starting to thinking now that it's not totally the fault of college that they are not updating the things yes of course they are not updating it but since you yourself can get update on the Game of Thrones episode I think you can get updated on latest tech and at that moment of time exactly when I was in that college I was feeling absolutely fantastic about the crowd that I have on my YouTube channel the crowd on my YouTube channel ask me all these questions even point my mistakes as well when I do mistakes in a Google login via Firebase or Firestore or uh, when I do all kind of such things and talk about Angular they ask the question that hey uh, why we should go for React and not for Angular or we should go for Angular and not for React I feel absolutely amazing that I'm lucky at this channel that I've got the absolute cream crowd uh, on this YouTube channel uh, I really absolutely am enjoying this so yes these are few of my thoughts and I think it's time for all of those students who, are, who have recently joined on my YouTube channel as well get serious and start reading <laughs> you need to read a lot of blogs learn code online also post regular blogs so read them 
also read out some other good blogs and at least get in the sync where industry is having around. Choose your tech, whatever you like, .NET, Java, JS, JavaScript, whatever that is, it's totally your decision, but at least get in sync where the industry is going on. So that's it, and I know I'm a little bit busy in the stuff going on. Uh, very soon we're gonna get back onto the pace with the YouTube as well. But I think uh, that's all I wanted to say in this video. The goal here is you should be learning, regardless of whatever the resources are, how you're learning, it's not important. The important part is uh, from wherever you are feeling comfortable, start learning, okay? That's it for this video and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button as well. It's amazing button, go ahead, press that and I'll surely catch you up in the next video.